Hello everybody, welcome to Sunday Merktide. Although as you see here, there's a hole and there is no Merktide. Uh, I guess I guess we can put Tarmogoyf and uh, it's gonna replace the Merktide for this video. In the world of Pico Poison, Merktide Regent is definitely struggling. And the ways I'm killing the opponent today are gonna be with Underworld Breach and uh, with Tarmogoyf. I also have the fifth iteration in the form of Questing Druid and uh, of course using the green mana mostly to play with Pick Your Poison which is the most popular card in Modern uh, extremely versatile and uh, very good a card against all the Line Binding uh, the One Ring, uh, Sign of Draco and so on and so forth mostly live against uh, every uh, Modern deck not too much else going on here. Um, I guess uh, Dress Down is going to be my fourth counter spell in this case. I love Dress Down. It, the fact that it can actually uh, very good against the Tarma Goyf. You could expose it. If you play Dress Down with a Goyf, you, play, you could expose it to your opponent Lightning Bolt. But it is a card mostly here for Sino Draco in uh, the Territorial Cabo, which, uh, you know, despite definitely going down in numbers, are still popular and, you know, Zoo is still pretty good against us so uh, that's why that in December they have no moon effect my mana base is definitely not good enough to play moons in fact I have two surveillance here um, I can even see playing three honestly but let's, let's start with two for now uh, the original idea is from um, twinless twin of course he's the one that tries to uh, innovate the most although his list had a uh, only two expressive iteration, which I find uh, suspicious, very suspicious. <laughs> Would you know everyone? And we are starting on the draw for our first match of five. Wish I was on the play with a turn one Ragavan, but I'll accept it. Playing nine fetch land in this deck. Plus two green land, that's 11 sources. Not too many to play turn two Goe. Usually you need the 13, but that's okay. I'm not gonna play turn two Goe now, <laughs> maybe, I don't know. It's really good that um, Tarmogoyf, yesterday I played uh, John Asmo, which is a deck I had no interest in. Uh, I have no interest in it now, but I definitely felt the power of Tarmogoyf. Okay, very good draw in Lightning Bolt, so I'm gonna bolt this before they untap with the Spell Pierce. And then I will bubble you. Okay, that's important to know, Force of Negation. They may be playing Blue Zoo, no, it's Tarmogoyf Canal, it's the Mirror Match. Okay. I think I'm passing the turn. Playing uh, Ragavan into what's probably a removal spell means that it just helps them um, surveilling. I just don't want to. I just don't want to do it. Just don't want to do anything. When I hit my land drops, though, that's for sure. Hello, Bayon. They go top bottom, and thankfully just attack me for one. Very good. I'm gonna get the uh, blue green um, survey land here, hoping to find what removal spell and another land are the two cards I'm leaving on top. Okay, I'm gonna do this in upkeep. They can go top three, force the negation. I'll counterspell it. Okay, they don't do it. Okay. 
And you get four cards, one of which is a Force of Negation. They pass, very nice. Play land, and I'll dash Ragavan. If they play a Bolt, I'll let it go. Whiff is a 5-6. I don't think... I guess it can be bigger. I have Breach, and I have... Um, press down. In theory, I'd rather wait until I have... Um, Six seven. In practice, I may just run it. Actually, if they go Murktide now, they don't have any more delirium for an only heat. Let it place Presnair here earlier, so now I can play counter spell. I think I'll go iteration now. My opponent doesn't have a mana up for force of negation, so I think it's good value. This is the typical mirror match where you just answer the the threat early game, and it's just better to be on the draw because you draw an extra card. And drew Ragavan off the top. Let's hope they don't flip anything good to me. Now I'll be able to untap and win the game. All right, good. Flip the land, and now we win. It was very risky because if they flip something good, I may actually lose the game from that spot. But now, I don't think you can. That's the uncertainty of Ragavan. Sometimes it's great. Sometimes it's you know not great. <laughs> Oh, I flipped Merc Tide. It is great now. <laughs> I think in this game, a very big important what had um, just not playing on turn two uh, the Ragavan when they had mana up. And go. So yeah, we're not playing Merktai technically, but we do finish the game with Merktai Regent in play. I posted that I gave up on um, that I'm not playing Merktai today, but it's funny that first game we still win with it.
Okay. Mirror match. What do we want? All of pick a poison. Probably underwear breach. Spells in there for sure. I'm taking out dress down. And channelers. Yeah, I wanna have just zero cards that die to pick your poison. Maybe too many pick your poisons. It may be too many. Is this my list? Uh, so, uh, as, um, Twinless Twin make um, uh, videos with Merc Tide. It's called Merc Guides on YouTube. And uh, I've seen his list similar to this. I changed a few cards, but yeah, basically. Um, the idea. The idea is. It's just classic. Um, just classic magic these days. You just, get, you just find ideas on the internet. You change like five cards. Buongiorno everyone, thank you I am Pitts for the 18th month. Welcome, welcome. Alright, this head isn't great. It definitely needs a fetch land to be better. What a bin's iteration, that must mean that you need lands as well. Buongiorno, Miki. Tu, 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 tu. Why you say not, no, no Merc Tides? I have a Merc Tide right here. I won the game with. There are Merc Tides. If you, if you believe strong enough, anything can happen with Ragaban. When it goes Breeding Pool untapped, Preordain. Maybe they're looking for a removal spell for the Ragavans. They they top both. No. Oh, my God, I have script. Oh, I guess I have Breach. The Beak Friendly Gamer. Thank you for the 16 8. People so great. Okay, so I'm gonna, gonna kill my Ragavan. Not fearing at all a spell peers. No spell pierce here. And then we play another one. Hmm. Uh, I think I want to play Preordain, hoping to find a land with it. Hmm. And I'll attack. They can't play Merc that Regent, but we have Pick Your Poison if they do so. Man, they have only two cards in it. So little. I hope no iteration now. That's crazy they bend the iteration on turn one. Third, Ragavan. It's not resolved. Licensers. Wow, they even have the protection from a licensor with with the, from pick your poison. Uh, 
All right, we have another one. Just need to find them lands. We'll build the first Merktide ever deck. Ever? Like, in the history of Merktide? That's a good question. I don't know. I don't know. George Washington could have been, could have been. He was a great guy. I'm sure he did a lot of things in his life. What did he, what did he exactly do? What did he exactly accomplish in his life? He was a military officer and politician who served as the first president of the United States from 1789 to 1797. So just, just eight years, not too long. What did he do? What did he do? We all know that. But what did he do? Played an indispensable role in adopting and ratifying the Constitution, which replaced the Articles of Confederation in 1789. That's, that's important. Washington's image is an American, is an icon of American culture. Okay, okay. Yeah, writing the Constitution is not easy. In Italy, the Constitution has been written by a very large group of people after World War II. In 1946, e che Madonna de Dio. You Garibaldi. Eh, but no, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's great. You know, these people definitely did their job. But, yeah, prefer. The one who made the constitution, but I guess, I guess, in the history, war was a necessary, was a necessary thing to free. Oh, there it is, that's the land. When the collaboration with Barbero, hey, I, I actually, I love history, I love history. If you also love history, there's this podcast by um, Riley Knight that is called Alf Harst History, and he talks a lot about... Um... How did you get a treasure? Did you connect with Ragavan? I guess you did. He talks a lot about history. Yeah, that treasure is annoying there, huh? I have eight cards, and I need to play something. That's not true, I don't have to play anything, I just discard Breach. What happened with our lands? Well, I kept the one lander and never drew it, but my opponent hasn't done anything, so it's not like I'm losing this game. The history, yeah, the history of magic. Barbero and Riley and uh, Rich Hagen. Rich Hagen and BDM. Actually, in Chicago, uh, BDM made a, a panel with uh, Bob Maher about the history of magic. Yeah, yeah, you should definitely... Magic cons is just the best thing ever. Just so much, so much happens in those uh, three days. It's imp like, you have to, like, clone yourself to get to enjoy everything the magic con has to offer to you. I think if you just go to the Magic Con and never play a single game, you'll have a great time. 
Probably, actually, even better than if you play. Because if you play, it's likely that you lose. <laughs> anyway. Will I play the RC in Naples? Yes, yes, of course. Oh, wow, you dislike Rich Hagen? How? How was it possible? È grosso? 10 10, è una madonna. Would you consider shredders here? Shredders, you take them and you throw them in the pioneer pile. They were already bad and now even worse. I think it was around at the end of last year that I had that I had this realization that Shredder actually sucks. And I don't know why it took me so long to realize it. Hey, boy, let's play this. Bottom Exile. Ancora niente terra, è una madonna. What's my favorite go with art? I just go first art. I actually, you know, I'm not, I don't really care about the art. It has to be first print. You know? I'm, whatever, whatever happens after, I don't want to know. First print, that's it. Better, bad, good, I don't care. First print. Allora, let's keep on iterating, iterating or iterate? Sì, ma Dio, chiaro e la Madonna, ma dove cazzo sono le terre? Ma che cazzo è possibile? Oh, I look like 30 cars on three lands. Um, yeah, Okay. Also, I'm staring at this chat log where my opponent wrote no lands at some point, like seven, 75 turns ago, which is still true to this turn. Every turn I looked at it. <laughs> It's okay, we got lands now. You know who has lands? My opponent. Okay, anyway. Um... Okay, 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 okay. I want to play Underworld Breach. It's gonna be my threat here, threat of choice. A retro art. So some retro art look bad to me. Some retro art look good to me. Like Mishra's but oh wow, it let it resolve. Hmm. Weird. It, uh, allora, we can go pick your po- I think I have to go pick your poison. Because eventually I have to take down those, uh... Yeah, I think I eventually have to take down those, uh... What is gonna sacrifice treasure? Then we're gonna sacrifice, um... Woman's Crypt? Or I can just play Tarmogoyf. Yeah, I'll play Tarmogoyf.
No, I mean, it makes sense that you want to make retro also expressive iteration preordain and shit. It's just that whenever I spend money on a card, I'm not too big of a fan of spending more money on the same card. I don't know. Six seven, by the way. Five six. <laughs> Four five, actually. Wow. Like, let's say if I'd start magic now and iteration normal would be like three euro and retro art would be four euro, then makes sense to buy the the four uh, the, the 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 retro. It's not something that be like, oh, you know, it's completely changes it. It's the same to me. Whereas if somebody plays, I don't know, a Boseju Neon Dynasty alternative thing, that actually makes me makes me makes me bad. Alright, that's good. I'm flooded so much. Look at them. They have three, say, eight mana. Crazy. Or Goif. El Goifo. Then I pass because I want to fight uh, my opponent, Dranga creature. I am winning now, so I need to just keep up counter spell. Quiff always for five, always for five. This card from the day got printed, it was a four five. Bye bye. Battle spell pierce. I never get why people do these spell pierces like this. What is it? Your card in end is heavy? That you have to play it? Uh, because so many people do it. So many people just play a card, you tap the lands, and that's it, you know? <laughs> I never understand why they do it. Anyway, uh, let's start by... I know your hand is an elite. So in, th in theory, if I find something off of this, I can't win. At least you can crypt yourself. Makes you very happy to see two pieces of graveyard aid do nothing. Yeah. Well, they kind of responded with something when I played a uh, Underwood Breach. Yeah, they have to crib themselves. And now I have a two one twos all of a sudden. Oh wow, zero ones. <laughs> That's funny. Third fourteen time with zero one. So if I send an artifact, I think it's gone. The days of unlicensed errors. If you still have it in your sideboard, no opponent, I'm bet. You should remove it from your sideboard. Unlicensed errors. It used to be good in the mirror match, but now it's no more, I think. I think that was weird because my opponent had Thomas Crypt somehow and made a treasure. But like nor in the normal game where you get to resolve hers, it used to be like untouchable. Like you used to side in cast in the fire just to deal with it. But now you just have like this free answer. And that's why Pico Poison is insane in modern. Because every deck has targets and it has targets in ways that it, it was not used to be. It, it used not to be that you had answers to things. to deal with the reanimator 
Yeah, yeah. This deck is counter spell, so definitely one of the decks that can deal with it the best. I really didn't get why. I, maybe they don't have an only heat in hand because I have this only heat revealed, but maybe it's not in their hand. It wouldn't make much sense for them to have an end. I just never played it on a GoF. It's funny to see GoF played over Merc by now. I think it. I think it isn't like so. There was a time where people played GoF to answer the Rhinos, and since it was a four-five, now you play it to uh. Like my my list at the moment has zero cards against Speak Your Poison, just Channeler in Delirium. But I set it out, so my deck currently has nothing that gets Speak Your Poisoned. I think maybe I do. This is and this is the deck building process that you should have. Granted, the deck may still like be not good enough. But this is how metagame works. People nowadays are used to have metagame swings by bannings or um, new cards getting printed. And those are the metagame swings. Back in the days when there was less sets and they didn't ban because Twitter said so, you actually used to live with... Uh, a meta game, and you had to make adjustment to your decks based on uh, based on the meta game. Okay, round two. Let's go. On the play. Unfortunately, it doesn't matter if I bubble myself or not, because I'm gonna go Ragavan anyway. If I had if this breaking pool was a fetch was a steam vents, then okay, I could have done it, but Yeah, buy in. Otavara. Ooh, is this another mirror match? Is Friday Merktide uh, like a festivity that everybody celebrates by playing Merktide? Maybe. It looks like that. Alright, you know what? Look at this. Look at my boy. Look at my boy 2 mana 4 5 on the play. Boom. Boom. I remember. Uh, last year, when um, I made the the Teamer Merc died with Questing Druid, there was or, the original list had Tarmogoyf, but I ended up cutting it because it was just too weak. At the time, though, uh, Fatal Push was commonly played, and I guess you know you didn't have pick a poison. Bye bye. Let's go attack. Play second Goyf. Actually, it's low rolling this preordain. I think it's better because I already have a turn lined up. Yeah, see? <laughs> no, never mind. Uh, but yeah, so basically, I don't know exactly what to look for. I mean, in theory, it's spells, any spells. But I think that Thundering Falls here was better. Oh, last week? What happened last week? I done both. Limbo Mongoose? <laughs> yeah, it's legally modern. Wow, Kof is a 5 6, by the way. I also. But that also means that it dies to an only heat, unfortunately. Ooh, Questing Droido. Bello. Buongiorno desde España. Buongiorno, Spagnol. Espanol. Allora, cosa facciamo? Cosa facciamo? Let's start with Preordain. Oh, you didn't like the Blue Zoo. Yeah, 
Merc type players are purists. They don't like this. Hmm. Look, I don't think my opponent has an only heat in hand. And if they do, I can go questing druid uh, spell peers. But I highly doubt they have an only heat in hand. So, mania questi. I'm, I'm sure that this video will be like, oh no, this is not Merktide. Get out of this. That's not true. Merktide players are competitive players. They make adjustment to their deck based on the metagame. They're not like, you know... They're not like amulet players. You know what I mean? You're bolting the DRC. Unfortunately, I can't spell pierce it. But I think I'm happy to go questing Druid now. Yeah, because I have to be in the, the top. I just love to drop in a dig at amulet players here and there. Because I tried to be an amulet player and I failed because I'm too weak. And uh, often in life, it happens that when you're too weak for something, you find an excuse. And this is me trying to be an amulet player. Put in as Murktide? You better have something else, because otherwise you're dead or bored. What about Storm's Wrath? Right, Storm's Wrath. That was the biggest innovation amulet had in years. I, I had to quit. I had to quit Amulet. I lost twice to Merc died. I can't. Allora. Mm. Bah. Look. I know you're going to win. Ma quante forte Tarmogoyf. Quante forte Tarmogoyf. Opponent could have played Merc type pre combat and then blocked. But that's another story. We don't want to know that. Happy sixth month. Any chance you get to play against me at MagicCon? Yes, there is chances. You can enter my same tournament and you can get paired against me. That is your chance, Cappy. Unlikely, but it can happen. Now we got a perfect sideboard for the mirror. I hope I'll be entering the Pro Tour, but you'll never know. You'll never know. Is it time to invest in this card, Tarmogoyf? Yes, spend all your money on Tarmogoyf. Actually, I wasn't truly... I mean, I was. I, have, I remember playing buying Tarmogoyf for, you know, a cheap amount to play in... Uh, Modern? No, it was it extended? I think it was... Oh, yeah, I played an extended, yeah. But at the beginning, Tarmogoyf apparently were sold for like $3. Because nobody got it. And then someone start... Someone, I think, top a GP with like a red-green deck with Tarmogoyf. Aggro? In standard, I think? Or was it extended already? No moon. If you can see, we have a, a grand total of one basic island. And you can do the, the, the legendary Blood Moon I, I Kill Myself play, which is kind of actually common amongst the Magic player. I still remember playing Team Rhinos against Blue Red Prowess in the past. I suspend Crashing Food Force on turn one, opponent plays Blood Moon with no islands in play. We don't play a single spell for the rest of the game, but I cast Crashing Food Falls. 
I win. That was uh, a game of Magic the Gathering. Anyway, this DRC hits the dust. You've considered buying Goyf recently, but you literally never play them. Well, you could change that and play them. You are the artificer of your own destiny. I get a fetch land? Bravo, Mango, Madonna, I hope you Ask and you shall receive. Pick your poison. Pick your poisson. You like winning your matches and you don't know if Tarmogoyf helps. All right, that's, that's a fair point. Pick your croissant. May I do this to her? We have four pick your poison waiting to kill all the targets that the opponent is throwing at us. Yo, the Tarmogoyf. Quanto è forte. Look, it's coming. Two mana, five, six, go. Actually, yesterday I took the screenshot because it was pretty funny. Okay. Of it turned to, turn to Tarmogoyf with haste, thanks to Breakout. I don't remember how we got to a 5-6. Maybe it was like Bubble and Ragavan. I played turn 1 Bolt, turn 2, break out, foam Goyf, attack for 5. <laughs> 2 mana 5-6. That's, that's powerful. They played One Piece TCG. I haven't. I haven't even watched the anime or read the anime. Uh, do you watch the anime or read the anime? Anyway, no, I haven't done anything except playing with Tarmogoyfs. That's all I've done. That's all I've done in my life. Um. I want to make the famous land iteration play. Why only one droid and three Goyfs? I don't know, man. I just made the list. Don't ask me. I just click the buttons. Attenzione. These cards are badge. Actually, though, can I get Delirium? Manco cazzo. Almost, though. Let's see. Well, in paper, you can try to convince your opponent that if I only hit... Yeah, and only hit goes in the graveyard before the six damage. Sorry, you can try to convince your opponent that you can put an insult in the graveyard before the spell resolves, so it triggers delirium. I've definitely seen people doing that. Oh no, no, this skillful iteration. What do I think of the Scam Rack deck? So I decided, I made a promise, I made a promise that I will treat Grief as banned. Because it's so weak that anytime I put it in my deck, I can't win a single game. So to me, Grief is banned. A lot of people want it to be banned anyway, so I'll just be treating like that. What's my favorite popper deck at the moment? It remains Boros Synthesizer. This is very fun.
Guys, did you see that there is a, uh, the card market series has started? The best, the best popper deck of all time. Uh, I was there. Market channel started. So basically, they do this uh, the series, which is gonna last for seven. Podcast and reckless impulse. Magic the Gathering cards have various rarities. It's gonna last uh, for uh, seven episodes, and it just goes through this like Swiss. It's it's very cool. First match was all the glitters versus Familia Storm, me versus Toffel. Tournament, and we finally have it. We have a time, and we are bringing you all of the elimination rounds. And after seven, I wanna I wanna show you the start because it's very funny. The best popper deck. Ever. It only lasts fifteen minutes. Very quick to watch. I, I want to show the stats. Let's go. <laughs> it scared me. <laughs> uh, very, very funny. Allora, let's go back here. Uh, what happened? Boo, I don't know what happened. Ma, here we are. What do I do? My 14. So I have a no, I don't have a play. But I just go go if just go go if top lane go. To get delirium, I can't. I can't. I thought about it, but I can't. There's only there's only creatures in the graveyard. So land enchantment. I'm missing a third. I can try and convince my opponent that this delirium goes, but I think I tried it last turn. They didn't believe me, so I'm not gonna try again. Um, okay. La 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 la. Ragaban, you just cast it. Oh, boy, are you gonna do you wanna fire off that hearse? Babine. Hey, I wanna go. Cazzo, nove danni alla cinque, io caro. Va bene. Well, I put three and only heat in 28 cards. It's fine. It's likely, you know. Let's grab it. Thunder. Thunder Falls will pick your poison. I should Thunder and Falls. Yeah, so first I surveil and then I play Questing Druid. Breach. No, thank you. But this helps me getting Delirium. Seek them beasts. I flip spells near Ragavan. Mamma che merda. Draw. Mamma mia. You didn't find a pick your poison. How am I in such a bad disposition? I thought this game was pretty close. Oh. I can go what here? Questing Druid, Dash, Ragavan, and then just try to get lucky. Questing Druid, Dash, Ragavan, Anoli Heat on Ragavan. Yeah, that's my plan. I could get lucky here, I can find like a, a lightning bolt. This doesn't make any sense, opponent. I have a spell in there right here that I was going to die. Oh, I feel that fear. So, cats, it why I'm just gonna spell snare it. 
let you finish the surveil. Attack. Oh, I got Delirium. Sweet. I got Delirium thanks to the spells near play. Amazing. And I flipped Ragavan. I don't want it. I'll kill that. So now I'm dead to a removal. Eh, bon, I'm always dead to removal anyway. Go! I guess I could have played their Ragavan, it wouldn't be dead to removal. It would have gone to one though. Who well, has to be an only heat? The fourth an only heat. Only that. But I guess I have to chum block, which isn't great either. Hmm. Let's see. I can go under a breach next turn. Yeah, this was, this was good, of course, yeah. I mean, it was in such a terrible position that just surviving is good. Echo the lead. Vamos! Vamos! Oh, they surveilled... I thought they surveilled on top of this. No, they surveilled on top of the Ragavan that I stole. Okay, okay, okay. Allora. Um... Allora. Let's go. For sure, pick your poison on artifact. Yeah. Out. There we go. Uh, breach. Bo no, actually, I don't want to go breach. I don't want to go breach. I shouldn't have. Not, I should have not done pick your poison. But let's let's think about it. Um. Cause I want to keep breach for Merc Tide. Is that something that I want to do? Keep breach for like Tarmogoyf next turn. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna play Ragavan and pass. Yeah, mate. I had a lot of ways to play this turn, but I think this is okay. Uh, Fourteen to four. I felt like I didn't want to attack. I don't want to go to two if I break. Oh, wow, another land for them. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Let's go breach. El Goifo. Let's try to keep the Lyrium. And keep delirium. That's okay. What did I say? I do. I do keep. Oh no, I don't keep delirium. It's fine. Go. Six, seven, go if, and a two, one ragaban. Let's see what I draw. No, did I draw Merc Tide? Man, this was exactly the turn after. Because I had to play Breach. I held the Breach for Merc Tide. Yeah, I die. <laughs> no! Because <laughs> oh, I had Pick Your Poison Breach, but I just drew the turn after. Oh no, Jekyll's Peak. Oh, I die. Good game. Oh, another one. Maybe they don't block? Maybe they don't block playing around the Nolly Heat? Makes sense. How oh, they do? Oh, cowboy, yeah. Yeah, I'm dead. Oh, am I dead? I'm dead, yeah. I'll be in it. Let's go game three. Good game, good game. Very fun game so far. I'll still take out the, 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 the channeler. No targets for pick your poison.
Okay, a little bit awkward mana. But I think it's normal in a three color deck. I mean, as I, as I said, we only have 11 sources in this deck. It's really not too many. It's really not that many. I'll play Anoli Heat. Ooh. It's good. I'm gonna get the blue green survey land. Edge maids. Bolt and go if the king spells near this, it's fine if they do. Yes. Do 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 top bottom mm -hmm. let's go for an expressive iteration hoping to not get spell pierced all right let's hope to find a land otherwise i'm breaking nice and bottom exile land go we have another we have another survey land here da, 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 da. hello royo como vas Okay, opponent leaves the card on top. I'd love to draw on the word breach here. One of the three. I can't complain about a preordain. Iteration. Ah. Hurts. 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 They didn't have it last turn, so they drew it this turn. It's okay. I guess I could have gone just dash Ragavan there, because they couldn't answer it. They only had Island up, and then it would draw an iteration the next turn. Maybe that would have been better. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, in hindsight, I would have done that. It's just that you kind of want a gem iteration if you know it resolves around Counterspell. So that's why I played it there. It's just more likely that they have Counterspell than they have uh, Spell Peers when they didn't have it last turn. And plays Double Threat that goes under Pico Poison. Very good. I can go... She doesn't want to take a screenshot of this. Because this is exactly what I wanted to do today. I wanted to avoid being in my opponent's spot of um, of playing cards that go under Pick Your Poison. Hope to find a card from his deck. From their deck, like a Merktide or 
Iteration would be fine as well. Preordain, Mishra's Bubble, Channeler, anything. Anoli Heat. Well, it's so good because Merc died if you build your deck. You know what I mean? Like, the, the I've, again, no, no targets for that. So. This is another Merc died. Ay, ay, ay. I could have saved the Pick Your Poison for a second Merc died. Actually, thought about it. Thought about it. I decided that I didn't want them to give, uh, I didn't want to give them another. Have no cards in end. Spell. Pierce. Uh, do I play Ragavan? Yeah, I'm not gonna nose about it, so I might as well play it. Three breach in my deck. Breach. Breach. Ah, iteration on top, madonna mia. Pescato anolit into iteration, dio caro. And I'm gonna lose. GG, it's been real. Yeah, you did it out of camera. It's okay, breach. Breach and I still win this game. Underworld breach. Qua, boom. Oh. I'm not dead yet. I can top that breach next turn. Designing bolt. Okay, GG. Yeah. I mean, normally I say that I make mistakes when I lose with Merc Tide. I don't think there was too many wrong things in this game. I really like my list as well. All right, I'll take a bathroom break and I'll come back for round three. Ooh, Air VNG, one of the best MTGO players. They're usually playing uh, Esper Reanimator, so this will be a important, uh, important matchup. Yeah, I was sent an email. Yeah. What's the best advice for going to the PT Seattle with no team to train with? Um, yeah, just draft a lot. Play a proactive deck. That's always an advice that I give to everybody. Don't play a reactive deck. They're always bad, usually, especially against PT players. Go preordain. We're looking for a spell pierce or spells near or counter spell. I'll take the counter spell, of course. I can't play it now, but put a tracks in the graveyard. And they go grief. Yeah, 
Nigel Glory, I'm gonna concede. Classic turn three kill with grief back up. Much stronger than rhinos, by the way. Much, much stronger than rhinos. When they banned rhinos, just saying. And this doesn't this doesn't mean that they should have banned that deck. Just should have been that. Anyway. Um mm, 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 Spesnare. Force of negation. Man, there's no graveyard eight in the sideboard. Hmm. Pick up pick your poison and the anoli heat. Blow on dress down, blow on subtlety, blow on stern scolding. Maybe a couple. I'll do like this. Did I apply for the MTG or creator program? Yes, yes, I got in. Da -da. Uh. So when I was playing a uh, reanimator, I, I used to side out grief. I don't know if my opponent also does it, but strength holding is mostly for um, solitude, I think. But yeah, also archaeologists. That's true. Dane, hoping to find a land. I think Ragavan is good. I want to draw it. I should have waited. Yeah, my bad. I guess I forced some negation, but yeah. Falaji Bins attracts Agorio. Must be nice. I don't cool a cool boy, I don't care to say. Cool, Shay. I was hoping to find Thoughtseize from their deck. This season, this, this month I placed Gore's Vengeance third place. But as I said in the video, it's just because it's a new deck, so I didn't feel like putting it first. But I don't know, I feel like the, the, the every time I play against it, it's like a legacy deck. Doesn't get hurt by pick your poison. More John House. Whereas, you know, Amulet does. Why play Arena sometime? I never do, but I will actually on Wednesday. There is the uh, Arena Early Access, and I'll play uh, Draft. I'll play Draft on Arena. Amulet mentioned, yes indeed. I haven't played Amulet against Amulet in a while though. Just classic magic online uh, swings. Ah, uh, I have no idea, Rova. I have no idea. 
opening the box on Arena. It's something I hope to never do. Actually, you have to. That's like the only way to get cards. So, you have to. Such. Okay, okay, okay. What is my opponent on deck? Blue Black Shadow? Interested in a new plot mechanic. <laughs> yeah, I'm interested. Are you selling it? How many? How much? Hello, sir. Are you interested in this new mechanic? It's great for your health and your look. Plotting. What do we plot? Plot, plot, plot. Oh, you have to pay. I have to pay you now, and you get something in return later. That's that's how the plotting mechanic works. It's like it's like shopping online. You buy, you pay money immediately, and then you get something in return later. Maybe, <laughs> maybe you get something in return later. Alura, my opponent has the shadow of death. I'll go if I and I'll pass because I don't want to attack. Does this deck feels worse or better than Merc died? It doesn't feel any difference. I, mean, I played two mirror match and I played against a legacy deck. So I went one one in the mirror match and I died on turn three both games against the legacy deck. And that's fine. I think so far so good. Do 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 Ooh, an only at Put on top. Put on top, obviously I can't do anything about it now. Mm -hmm. What do you think of slick shot show off for burn? Ooh. Maybe. Maybe actually. That's the one two with plot. Yeah, I can see that in burn. It's really nice that you can just play top two mine and play and play Tarmogoyf and not have to wait for Merc died. I don't know. Oh no, you also have Tarmogoyf. It's a Tarmogoyf world. Does this resolve? Please resolve. Please resolve. Please. Yeah, I wanna bin that. I wanna try and get lucky. Find me sure it's bubble. No, bricato. Non ce credo. Can I get back that flawless strength? Poi giorno Mattia, cubo vintage. Nah. No, basta, basta. I don't wanna I don't wanna hear about cube anymore. Cube it's fun, a little bit. A little bit, like once every every while online and paper, it's always fun, of course. But paper doesn't count, like, okay, that's oh. paper doesn't count, everything is fun on paper. Saying that something is fun in paper, it's like saying, I don't know, a pizza bone, you know, stuff like that. Do I want to plan on it? Why? No, I think I have to keep the only heat, right? Yeah, maybe I get delirium eventually. Yesterday, me and Tommy recorded pre-modern. The uh, day before, uh, last week we recorded Popper. It's gonna be out on Mango's Workshop soon. 
I'll let you attack for six. I think I'm going to triple block. You can blow me out, but I hope you don't. Bye. Green, black. What's that? Another orc? Oh, this member. Oh, porca palettina. Do you guys see any lines? I don't think I see them. I think I have to play spell pierce just to get delirium and then just hope to top deck. Um, mm -mm. so another heat can kill Goeth. Yeah, so let's kill Goeth. Actually, let's do this. Let's do end of turn questing druid. Then I only hit the Goeth. Now I take 12, I go to 2, and then... Yeah, I mean, I, I ought to draw double bolt. John, John, the heat face. Yeah, like why doesn't an only heat heat face? I hope that Modern Horizons Three will have an only heat mythic rare that does the same thing but hits the player as well. They gotta pay for it. You know, they they gotta make you pay for it. You know. Common? Sorry, what's the biggest regret of Modern Horizons 2? To make this common. Make it rare? Man, make it rain. <laughs> no, 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 I'm joking. Allora. Do I want to pick your poison in this matchup? I don't think so. It doesn't seem good. Image 3, power creep. MH2 Prairie and the only card that remains good is Tarmogoyf. Alright, let's begin. Land Ragaban. Cazzo fatto, vai. Ok. Lotro, there's like one good, there's like two good cards in Lord of the Rings. Don't pushy, don't pushy pushy, no touchy my, my monkey, no touchy my monkey. I think I'm just gonna throw. Oh, spell piece. That's important to know. I think I'm just gonna throw away uh, some value of this preordain just by, yeah, just by cycling. Not ideal. It's not ideal. I think what I should have done here was draw breach, bottom the bubble, and then play thundering falls. Nah, I think just nah. Having having bubble in the graveyard is great. 
with Breach, because this was my plan. Wow, Mango. Wow. Very well done. Yeah, true, Lara revealed is good, but you know. They banned the deck where she was it it was good at, so you don't see much of it anymore. So and a couple of one ones for them. Remember they have spell peers, huh? Okay, one mana three three. Although it has to attack every turn, which is definitely a downside. This case. Stern's golden. I mean sure, but like it's a normal card. The one ring and uh Orkish Bowmaster are, you know, metagame defining cards. Kapuna found a fetch land. Now their shadow evolve two four fours. All of a sudden. Okay, so it has spell peers. I have spell as well. I can go. What can I do? Well, first I go land attack. Because that has to happen. You think the new Emrakul will be good? Uh, don't remember what it does. But maybe. I mean, Emrakul have historically been very good and whenever they got printed. But very good, I mean, just broke. Like moderns. The second one broke standard, you know? So. Extremely, extremely powerful. Oh, porca boy, now I know he can't kill the shadow. I will go ahead and say that it was a mistake. It was a mistake, chat. I made a mistake. I feel like this is a game losing mistake, right? I think so. Should have uh, played Breach on Oli Heat first. I love it. I guess I'm losing. Will I play FNM tonight? No, no. Tonight, actually, a friend of mine from uh, Milan is coming down to my city and we're gonna test standard no stop for uh, three days. With uh, proxying the new cards. Testing for the Pro Tour. He's gonna come to my town. I have no outs. I have no outs. I have no outs because I played like a dog dog. Babine, do I have no outs? Oh, I have no outs. I don't know. This match against Merc Tide killed my mood. I'm gonna drop at 1 3. Um. I don't think much could have done. I just uh, stopped having fun, I guess, after I lost that game, which it happens. And I don't want to play when I don't have fun. Um, Thank you for watching. Watch on YouTube the classic Sunday Merc Tide will return, maybe with Merc Tides, but I enjoyed playing with Goyf a little bit. And yeah, thank you, thank you.